what I packed for hand luggage for the aeroplane when we were flying for our holiday to Portugal. With Learn with Lynn at Bore Design. Find us on Instagram and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, on today's Learn with Lynn, I am going to go through what we packed for the aeroplane for our seven-year-old and our nine-year-old. Um, seven-year-old girl and nine-year-old boy and also what I put in my hand luggage. Um, so sit back, relax and enjoy a little bit of holiday prep. Um, it is Tuesday and the atmosphere is at fever pitch. We've got excitement, we've got tears, we've got everything, but we're organised. Most of the suitcases are packed, toiletries are all laid out. Um, the last thing to do is hand luggage. So mine is pretty much organised, which is here, um, but I'm going to go through what I have done for the children. Now, in previous years, it's been long haul flights, so we need quite a lot of entertainment. And um, we're also going to take the little iPads with them as well um, for the way home and potentially the end of the flight after the excitement has worn away from all the presents that they've opened. Um, but I do like to wrap little gifts. Now, this started when the children were really little um, for their first flight. And then subsequent flights after that, I've just made up little packs just to make it even more exciting because I absolutely love holidays and they get super excited it looks like a total mess but I'm going to go through it with you um of what I've done they're a bit older now but they still want to use their trunkies um we've said that they, they were probably too old for them but they want to use them one last time so why not you know let them have that one last time they are too old for them but we'll let them have one more shot of them um because it obviously has been a couple of years since we're traveling because of COVID let me turn you around and show you what I've done okay first of all it looks like a lot but it's not um, Steve, when he first saw it all laid out, was like, oh my word, I'm like, but it's not an, an awful lot when you work it all out, when you go through each individual thing. So you've seen these before. These are the LCD writing pads. The, um, these are superb for X's and O's. I can do like, like this. This is what I did with Grace earlier today. Um, I did a dot, uh, join the dots. So you can just do a number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, it's a bit scruffy, but you get the idea. And then they can draw a fish, that sort of thing. Um, she actually added in bubbles, which is very cute. Um, but it's great. It's like a rainbow, rainbow um, LCD, and you can do loads of things. You can obviously do X's and O's. You can play um, boxes. You know where you do all the dots all the way along, and then you've got to do lines to get boxes. Um, there's lots you can do with these and they can just doodle and they can just draw and they can do pictures. It's fantastic. Um, we usually have these in the car, but I'm going to pack them away into here just now. So one for both of them. Um, they've also got their colouring pens and some pen a pencil in there as well. Um, and then for Barkley, he's got Spot the Differences. He loves Spots the Differences. So I've got one of them for him um, and a puzzle activity book. Um, which has got loads of different puzzles and things to do. He's already done some of these. So these I won't be wrapping up. Uh, Grace loves colouring, so we're going to colour them in together. I'm not going to wrap these up because these are actually things that they've already got um, and they've had before and they've used. But that's just ones that are going to be in the case. These ones are all new, so I'm going to wrap them up. We've got um, Tell the Time, Tell the Time Wipe Clean. Um, Bartley's equivalent is the number of puzzles, which has got loads of different puzzles inside, different things to do. So he's got that. They've both got a Sudoku. Um, this one's for 8 to 12 years and this is for younger children. Um, they haven't done Sudokus before. I think Bartley maybe has, but Grace has never done um, never done a Sudoku before. So this will be good. I can sit with her and teach her how to do that. Um, they are loving these Little People Big Dreams. Now, I normally just have a little book in here. But what I've done is um, I've told them to only take a couple of bedtime books with them. And these will turn into their bedtime books. They are loving these. Absolutely loving these just now. So I've got a Pelle and a Marie Curie um, equivalents for Bartley and Grace. Um, Steve obviously loves this one and this for me, scientist, excellent, uh, great inspiration for Grace as well. Um, and then we've got a David Attenborough one and a Dolly Parton, love Dolly Parton. So those are going to be wrapped up um, as their books. Um, I have also got these, these were actually bought for Bartley's birthday and then Grace's equivalent present um, oh, to, give her, to give her a little present on Bartley's birthday. Um, I usually buy something that I'm going to be buying Barclay and then buy her an equivalent. So she's got one one present to open on his birthday. Um, so these were actually for it, but I thought they'd be great for this holiday because they can colour it in on the plane and then it washes out so they can colour it back in on the way home. So that's really good. They both still love cuddly toys. As you can see, they've taken been told to take one cuddly toy with them on holiday. Normally, when they were young, um, they took Monkey and Duck, 
bunny and mouse, which are the two little baby toys that they had when they were growing up, just jelly cat ones. But they both decided that they wanted to take one big one instead. So they've got Monty, which is Bartley's, and then Monkey, which is um, one that Grace got when she was born from one of my bridesmaids, Emma. So she just loves this one. She sleeps with it every night. So um, so just Bartley with Monty. They found it quite difficult to not take the other teddies. They love soft toys. So with that in mind, I got little aeroplanes because obviously this is the first time on the aeroplane for so long. Um, even though Bartley's a little bit older, he still loves these sorts of things. So there's a little squishy one there for him. And yellow is his favourite colour, so green was the closest I could get. And then purple um, is Grace's favourite colour. But they're little airplanes, I think they're really cute. And then they love Care Bear. So Bartley has got the only yellow one I could get was this one. And Grace loves purple, which is that one. So then equivalents. Um, once they open all this up, obviously the packaging all goes, I take along um, a carrier bag um, for rubbish and they can put all the rubbish in for recycling, so it doesn't get wasted. Um, this one, obviously, a lot of packaging in this, so this will break right down, but Bartley loves Fortnite. So he's got this one, and the equivalent for Grace is this little blind cloudy. He's never had these before, but um, she loves anything that's a surprise, um, so she will love that. They have both got um, Lego Looney Tunes, which is great because it's something to do as well, but a um, little blind bag for those. Um, then they have got Harry Potter collectibles. Haven't had these before either, but they're quite squishy. They're squishy inside. So they a little blind bag for them as well. Um, Bartley loves Hot Wheels. So he's got a little Hot Wheels car. And Grace's equivalent is this Disney Princess Secret Styles. Never had these before either, but she has a little selection in there of what might come out. So that'll be exciting to see. Um, and then a little mini cupcake surprise um, and a Roblox for Bartley. So that is their sort of gifts, um, holiday presents. Um, and surprises so they will all be wrapped up Bartley's in dinosaurs and Grace's in butterfly paper um, and then as I say um, I have got these little bags which I will take these are usually more important for long-haul flights and um, to have a rubbish bag on your seat um, but um, because grandma and grandpa are coming with us as well we've got a row of three girls and a row of three boys so I've put in for each of them because since we're not going to be next to each other. So what I've made up here um, they've got their little matching bags for their trunkies. Again they're too old for these but it's so nice of them to have that little extra um, use of it before they get rid of it which is quite nice and it's also nice to say this is the final time we're going to be getting you know getting rid of these after we'll be passing them on so then they know that this is their last time. So they have got their wallets. This is actually Grandpa's wallet from Portugal um, that Barclay absolutely loved and used to pretend. So Grandpa uh, gave him that one and bought another one for himself. It's, um, and they've got their holiday money in there already in euros. And Grace has got a gift for Grace. Um, we've also got some water wipes, which I've decanted for sticky hands, which are always good, but also some antibacterial ones for wiping down surfaces. But they can also be used, I think, for hands as well. So um, they can be used for both, which is handy. Um, a little Ziploc bag um, for any unused sweets. So they're not just floating about. Um, it keeps them contained. I'm going to take one of these eggs out for each of them. They've already had one at movie night, Friday night movie night. So I'm going to take one of them out. Um, I'm also going to open up these bags and put a couple of these sweeties in. Now, anyone who's an 80s, 90s child will remember Pez. Now, we used to get these when we went um, on holidays and it reminds me of holidays. So I've kind of carried on that tradition for the children. And each year when we went on holiday, I would buy a new one um, as a collectible and as a wee surprise. Now they have so many, they're not getting any new ones because they've got a lot. But they had matching sets. Um, but they have chosen themselves to take these two for birthday. So this one's for the lollipop. So it means they can have a suck of the lollipop and then close it again. They don't have to finish the lollipop. Very, very useful. Um, because I always give them a lollipop for their ears for the aeroplane because I suffer really badly from popping my ears. Um, so I always want to make sure they're sucking. When they were little, they would just breastfeed, obviously, when we're taking off and landing. But now they're a bit older, they get a lollipop. So this is for that. And then these are the Pez dispensers. Bartley's chosen these Star Wars ones. Grace has chosen Princess Poppy and Anna. Um, so I've got those. Um, these, we are obsessed with these just now as a family. They were bought for Steve and I to enjoy, but the children also enjoy them. Um, you get so many different flavours. My favourite one, I think, is a mint one. I might swap my one out for a mint one. But I've taken for us as well. I've taken some chewing gum for, for us and Tic Tacs. Um, so we're putting our stuff in with them as well, just to make it easy. Um, I've also got some healthy things. Um, I will add some more um, healthy things to it as well. But for just now, these are really delicious. The children say they taste just like just like sweeties 
It's a big, long fruit string. It looks like there's, it says fruit string. I don't know why I thought it would be plural, but it's basically a big, long string with all the different flavors. There's that, and then they've got the yo-yo beer. I might pop in some coconut rolls and some yogurt raisins and maybe a pack of raisins as well, but I need to get them from the cupboard. This is all stuff that I bought. Um, so that's those there. Um, I bought these off of eBay, uh, not eBay, I bought these off of Amazon um, because we went to get their fans and the motors had burnt out. So I was like, oh no. So I quickly went on, I'll have to empty the water out of that um, before we fly. But I quickly went on to Amazon to find Crime Delivery for fans. And these are fantastic for the price. Three for 10 99 They're a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they were just going to be tiny little hand ones. So they're not ideal for safe ever. Uh, for space saving but they are great for what they do because you turn on the fan and then you can actually this will be brilliant for the beach you can actually mist you spray it not like a um a water pistol it's actually a proper mist see the mist there it is really really good so I'm quite impressed with that for the price and um, so they will be excellent for this holiday um, and at that price you can't really go wrong now, it used to be when they were younger, I'd put all their sweeties into these bags and they were put in the trunkies and they would be kept until the aeroplane. But because they're a bit older now, I'm going to use these two bags. Um, this is actually Grace's one and this is actually Barclay's one, Biff or Barclay. Um, I'm going to use them for all their little gifts um, and then that way that keeps them all contained and makes it easy to not lose all the little bits of all these. So I'm going to do that instead because they're a bit older now. I can trust them to put all of this into their little bags because these little bags used to have their healthy snacks, like their apples and their tangerines when they were little, little wee, so they didn't get crushed in the trunky, but they're a bit older now. So I can put all of this in, I'm gonna decant these, and I had never seen, so these are like the normal ones that we've had before. I didn't even know you got sour ones and fizzy ones, so I can't wait to try these myself, so I'm gonna put an extra few packets in for me, because <laughs> I really enjoy tasting them. And um, it just reminds me of holidays, so it's great. And I think that's us. Um, I'm gonna go and wrap these now in their, in their, um, in their individual wrapping papers. Um, I'm going to put all these into here so they're kind of half hidden um, and then pop them at this side and then I'll put their little bag in at this side and there should still be room for their these rucksacks if they ask us to try and fit it into one one hand luggage so we can still, I think we'll manage that. If not, they can go in mine or Steve's, it'd be fine. Um, we normally, for like a long haul flight, we'd have a change of clothes in a Ziploc bag um, which one kept it from getting dirty but also um, to get all the air so I would normally have like a change of clothes um for them like or pajamas if it was a long haul flight but because it's just a Portugal flight um I have taken um a pair of shorts for Barclay to change into because he doesn't want to travel in shorts which is fair enough because I prefer to travel in trousers as well just for the seats um I don't like the feeling of airplane seats on my legs like sticking to them so I like to wear trousers for traveling so I've taken shorts to change into as well um, and so has Steve. Grace is wearing a dress with just a pair of leggings so she can just whip off her leggings so we won't need a change of clothes and they're old enough now it used to be that I take a change of clothes in case they spilt their water um, or if they had an accident but now they're old enough they would make do so I don't need to have that I'm totally jinxing it now but they could change into their shorts or vice versa it'd be fine they'll be okay without it and um, these are little water pouches and um, I wasn't planning on taking these I was actually going to take their their keep cool um, reusable water bottles with me, but they want to take these. These were bought years ago, um, but they're quite handy because they're flat. Um, so you can roll them up in a beach bag. You can also put them in the freezer um, to get cold before you go to the beach. So they keep they keep cold while you're there. Um, they want to take them, so I mean, they take up hardly any room. So they'll be ideal to fill with um, water from Steve and my big bottles of water. We can put a little bit into there. Um, for them and the reason Grace wanted to take it is because it matches I couldn't get a gruffalo one but a tiger's close enough right my voice I have been speaking to you for far too long right I'm going to pop you in a time lapse and I'm going to wrap all these and then hope that everything fits into this bag and then I'll show you what I've done with my hand luggage <laughs> got to show you when I was showing you the books I like to write in where something's from or why they got it so if they got it from someone I would write their name but in this one I've just written in the corner Portugal 2021 <music> So that's them all done. 
I put an extra sweeties in here because I, as you saw during that, um, nibbled as I packed. So I put an extra ones for Steve and I because we do love a sweetie, especially in the aeroplane. So I've taken some extras in there too. So they're full. Um, and then, as you can see, it packs really nicely in here. They've got a bit of room for a couple of magazines at the airport, perhaps. Um, and it's not too overpacked. And once they open all this, there'll be a lot of packaging gone as well. So they've still got a bit of room, which is always good because trunkies are a nightmare to open and close. Now on to the things for the suitcase. Um, normally on our summer holidays, they need a new pair of pyjamas. So instead of just buying a new pair of pyjamas um, and then just giving it to them, I wrap them up as well. So I'll pop them in the case all wrapped up. I've also got um, a book for both of them for reading by the pool um, for days that they're just wanting to snuggle. Um, I've got this Daisy one for Grace and the Daisy and the Trouble Trouble with Chocolate. She got Daisy and the Trouble with the Unicorn for from school as their end of term um, gift, and she loves it. So that'll be a good one for her. And Bartley loves David Williams. Shame it's so thick because it just takes up so much room. But this should be a really good one for him to read um, by the side of the pool as well. I've got lots of nice pictures. Um, and then I got these pajamas in the sale at the end of um, at the beginning of the year. Um, so little shorts and t-shirts, little shorty ones, um, one for Barclay and one for Grace. So I'll get them wrapped up as well. Um, and then they've just got something little to open. When the suitcases get opened, um, they can open up their gifts there. Um, I've also taken these to wrap up for the aeroplane on the way home. Little colouring, um, squishy uh, rainbows. There was only a choice of rainbows. So um, I think they'll really enjoy doing that. So they get to colour that in on the way home too. Um, right, on to my hand luggage now. So... Um, this is what I take for travelling. So this is a new bag, but I've always taken it as a long shawl. I've got a beige one of this and it is an ideal hand luggage. Got a zip so it keeps everything contained. Big enough that you can fold it away, obviously, if you want to, because it's one of those folding up ones. Um, but I decided to go for a dark colour. My beige one got a little bit messy, um, but the zip bust in it after years, about six years of using it. Um, it bust. I used to use this as my nappy bag after getting rid of my nappy bag. Um, so I decided to invest in a darker colour um, for using for this trip. Um, inside I have got my reading book which I got the Giovanna um, Fletcher one, um, Billy and Me. So I got that one actually in Lidl. They were selling it in Lidl so that's gonna be a good one for me to read. Um, my hairband for traveling. Um, I just put that there so I would remember to take it. Obviously my normal glasses and my sunglasses and Grace's sunglasses are in there just in an old case. I can't find my actual case but this one's big enough to take both of ours so that's good. Um, this is an essential part of my travelling kit and it's a portable charger. Steve's going to have one in his suitcase as well, in his um, hand luggage as well. Um, so that just charges a phone or charges our headphones. Now these, Steve's got Apple Pods and they are amazing, great sound quality. But these are 9 99 out of home bargains. Okay, the sound quality is a little bit tinny, but... For me, I can't ever, ever get buds to stay in my ears, ever. As in, even the ones that have got the wires. The bit here just doesn't seem to go in my ear. But I got these to try and they fit. So miraculous. Um, for, and for 9 99 they're fantastic for me for the aeroplane. I did buy proper over-the-head ones, but these take up so much, uh, so like such little space. Um, these are ideal for travelling. Um, and also, you charge the case. So then, see it's charging just now. So you charge the case, so then the headphones charge um, once they run out. So it kind of is its own little charger too. But I can also top up the charge of this if I want to charge it. But they are fantastic for travelling. And I don't have to worry about losing them either because they're only 9 99 So it's great. Um, in here, I've got all my jewellery. Um, and I've also got our cloth masks in here. Um, we've been using cloth, ma cloth masks throughout this pandemic. Um, but for the aeroplane, I have invested in some surgical, medical grade, um, blue and white uh, disposable masks. Just because we're going on an aeroplane, um, we had fully intended not to go away anywhere. Um, so to reduce our risk by doing something like this, um, I've gone for those and we can just dispose of them. But I have got my cloth ones in here, which are also approved for aeroplane flying. Um, so we'll be able to wear them too. But all my jewellery is in there. I don't like putting my jewellery into the, the hold. Um, not because it's that expensive and um, there are a few pieces in there that would be but just because the hassle of replacing it but um yeah i just i like to have it on my person and um, so that's there and um, i have also got in this little bag my um i actually can't remember if you're allowed to sewing kit on an airplane it's been so long are you allowed needles on an airplane i know you can't take knitting needles are you allowed normal needles i'll need to check that it's been so long 
I can't remember, but I've got that. I can put that into the suitcase um, if need be. Um, I've got a little hand cream in there. Obviously, my Keralig Beauty Amber um, Spritzel uh, Sand Sanitizer um, for using and a brush. So that is in that little clear bag because I couldn't find my other one. So that I'll do for just now. Um, in here is my first aid kit. I need to decant this. I've got um, some a, a wash. This is for mostly for the beach and for the pool. But it's got, um, let me show you. I need to put this into a Ziploc bag for liquids, obviously. Um, brilliantly, you can now get five plus, uh, sorry, six plus Calpol in these little sachets. So these are ideal for when you're out and about rather than taking a bottle. Um, so I've got those for the children um, just in case we need them when we're traveling. Um, I've also got some Diorolite and some diarrhea tablets. Um, although obviously you're better to clear yourself if you ever have an issue. But when you're traveling, not so much of an issue for a long haul flight. Uh, for a short flight, for long haul flight, they're kind of essential. Um, but hopefully we won't need those and some diode light if we feel dehydrated. Um, I have also got a pack of plasters. So this has got a mix of children's plasters and adults' plasters, all the different designs of children's ones in there. Um, I've got my uh, sort of paracetamol ibuprofen. Um, antiseptic wound wash which is great for if you're at the beach and you get a cut then you can clean it um, without needing a tap or pouring water on it um, so that's really good it gets all, all the the muck and um, an afterbite for any any stings i need to actually go outside uh, to my and the back of my bike, I've got a little pouch thing at the back of my bike, which has got the children's after, but this one stings quite a lot. So I'll go out and get the little cream one for them. Um, so I'll put that in there as well. And an Arnica gel. This is fantastic for children's uh, bumps, even just as a psychological thing. Oh, let's put this on. I'll stop bruising. Um, but it does actually work. Um, Grace got a bump in her head yesterday and I ended up opening this um, and it totally didn't bruise, which is amazing. Um, and my Pexafenidine Hydrocoded for my hay fever, some antihistamines, um, and an antiseptic Savlon. What else is in there? I think that's it. Oh, um, yeah, I think that's it. Perfect. So I will pack all that away and I'm going to divide that just now into my liquids, um, zip li liquid Ziploc just now. Um, I'm taking the spare cooling fan for me. Um, now, this has come with me travelling everywhere, as you can see by the mess of it. Um, this was bought for myself and my brother when we left home. Um, Mum and Dad bought the Samsonite um, travel travel pouch and it's got all our documents in there. It usually holds our passports. But this year, I've decided that it's it's handy. Obviously, this bag makes it really easy to slip it in and out. But because you need your passports quite a lot and it's a hassle to be able to zip in and out, I've decided to go for this. Now, I got this on the sale. Um, it ended up being £14.99, so I think it was half price. Um, from Assots in London um, and it's a Camella brown croc and it's a belt bag so because I don't wear my, my clothing I always wear the same clothing going through the airport so it doesn't beep it doesn't do anything but it's very simple to travel with um, so I don't ever have a belt but this will be really easy to whip on and off um, and then inside um, obviously I've got the new passports mine's blue and the children's are children's and Steve's are still the burgundy colour it fits the passports perfectly. These are our COVID certifications to show that we're vac fully vaccinated and um, within two weeks of travel, which is required for Portugal. And then my little purse in the front there um, with money. Um, but this is handy for putting around my waist. So then when we're at the gate, we just take it out. And then this one I'm still taking, partly because I've taken it everywhere and I've never travelled without it. So partly sentimental, but also it's got my car parking. It's got my insurance documents. It's got everything else in here. Uh, car hire, hire details, everything that I don't actually need access to frequently in the airport is in there. Um, and then the things that I will need access to will be in there. And then that will just go down my waist. also means that when I pop to the toilet, um, I can have that with me. It's not going to be, you know, that I wouldn't take it out. I'll leave this bag with Steve. And then it means any time I'm at the toilet and I decide, oh, I'm going to pop and get something. I've got my purse. I've got my... It's just like having your your phone. I can fit my phone in there as well. Um, so it's just like having your you know, like if I had a pair of uh, jeans, I would have my phone and my wallet maybe in your, my pocket. This is just kind of like a handbag without having an extra strap. It will fit in there um, in case they ask, but it just saves me having an extra strap that hangs down. Like when you bend over and the bag falls off your shoulder or, or it gets in the way, this is going to be just absolutely brilliant. So I'm looking forward to using that. I think that's going to end up being a total game changer. So I'm delighted with that. I've used the bag that my Longchamp, um, I've put in our spare clothes. 
Um, so our shorts and t-shirts and change of clothes. That's just at the very bottom of the bag. And that'll be used when we get to Portugal. So I'm going to go and pack this back in. I like having everything segmented. It looks a bit messy here, but um, I like everything being segmented and in its own little area and little place. It's easy to keep things organised when they've all got their own individual place. So they've seen during that time lapse before that I was using this. This is like the best thing when you're making you know, doing presents. Um, I've got cheaper versions, but this one's definitely the the better of the, the ones I've got. It's called Fizz Cars. Um, but the great thing is you just pop it underneath your paper like that, hold the paper tight either side, and then just run it all the way along. And that cuts it. Makes it so much easier. That's our hand luggage packed so far. This is all Steve has. I've given him some spare masks. He's got his book, which I can't wait to read myself. And um, we do love a Jack Reacher. Um, sunglasses, his and Barclays are in there. Um, his jumper. Um, I put my reusable bag for life into my bag as well. But I've given him a Marks and Spencer's one that's all folded up. And then he's got one of these little chargers as well. His is a little bit bulkier, but it's got more power. Um, so it is ready for the plane as well. Um, and then he's got all the other tech that needs to be packed um, in his bag um, for going. I think we're going to take the laptop with us um, and then the iPads and cameras and things like that. To go and check in. Loving it, so handy, so useful. Game changing, completely game changing. is it's really good really handy it's got all of my stuff in it and has been fantastic but three uses and it's already starting to wear it makes me wonder if it's vegan leather or not i haven't checked um, if it is but it's wearing where i obviously push my thumb push my finger against it to open up the, the lock still an amazing amazing purchase and it's made life so much easier um still a fantastic purchase and still would highly recommend obviously just that little bit of wear um, but I have enjoyed using it. These trunkies are ideal. Not only can they pull them like they're doing here and look after them, give them a job for looking after something, but they can also sit on them and be pulled when they're a little bit younger. Hope you enjoyed that video. Tune in on Tuesday for the full holiday vlog. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.